Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have invited Harshit. Hello Harshit, thank you, thank you for accepting my invitation. So Harshit, could you please give me a quick introduction so that our viewer will get to know about you? Hey, hey, hey everyone. So I'm Harshit. I'm currently working in Google as a software engineer. Before that, I was working at Microsoft as a software engineer. And before that, I have done my MTEC in CSE from IIT Kanpur. Uh, that's really great and we have one common thing like I also worked at Microsoft and then after I say I moved to Google and he also worked at Microsoft and currently is working at Google yeah so very first question I want to ask here like as you have done mtech so could you please share that uh, what is the benefit of doing mtech like uh, like Lots of students used to prepare for product-based company directly after the B.Tech. So could you please say what are some benefits of doing M.Tech? Okay. So see, if you do M.Tech from an IIT or a prestigious college, see, you will have more opportunities because a lot of companies come for campus placements in IITs, and, right? So then, so you'll have more opportunities there. And if we if we talk about if we uh, if we talk about something else other than placements here, so I mean the curriculum is great. You get to learn a lot. There's a, the the environment is great, and there's a there's a lot to learn. It's it's a it's something that I would definitely suggest everyone to explore. So like I'll I'll, I'll tell you my thing. Uh, I did not uh, join MTech for a placement. I joined MTech because I wanted to experience that life. I wanted to experience that culture. I wanted to experience IIT. Okay. And uh, especially if some people who are planning to go for uh, research roles, right? Uh, like doing an MTech really helps because sometimes you do research in those fields and then you get uh, directly hired from those two. So, yeah. So this is really great insight. Like uh, lots of my viewers also used to ask like in my live session that whether he should or he, he or she should do MTech or not. So if you are interested in, uh, of course, I'm doing MTech will help you in getting job. This is a secondary factor. But if you are interested in studying more and research that MTech will provide you very good opportunity for that. Yeah, so as you have uh, already explained that what are some benefits of doing MTech. So now my lots of viewer, I think my lots of viewer wanted to know that how you prepared for GET. Like, could you please share your GET preparation strategy? Sure. So actually, I was a bit unlucky to say because um, so the college where I did my BTEC from, it's it was a uh, it was in a bit of a remote location. So there were not many coachings available, and at that time, internet also wasn't very strong, and we didn't have access to a very high speed internet. So I couldn't do any coaching either online or offline. So what I used to do was I prepared. Um, I did I uh, cracked gate on self study. How I used to prepare, I, I prepared from reference books. And uh, when I say this, I'm going to tell you this, that this is going to be very, very hard if you're going to prepare from reference books, but I had no other option. So I had to go via that way. So, uh, but if you can afford, I would, uh, if you can afford, if you can go to a coaching, I would definitely suggest to go for a coaching because it brings uh, decorum in your life. And the second thing, second, which is, and the most important thing, which I would say is uh, practice. Okay. I see a lot of people preparing for gate and they would just keep studying and studying and cramming books and their notes and stuff, but won't practice much. See the, in exam, you have to solve questions in a given time. Right? So what, what better than that is, is to practice, right? So how, how I would suggest is if you're going to study, whether you're going to study from coaching, whether you're going to study from reference books. Okay study a topic and then do questions on that just uh, I, mean, I mean immediately so there are some uh, some publishers who have published um, you know previous year paper uh, previous year questions from gate in a manner that they have divided the questions topic wise those books are going to be very helpful for you and uh, buy those books study a topic and then immediately solve questions on that so that gives you two advantage first you will know that Okay, what kind of question from this topic can come in exam and am I ready for that? And second, you anyway practice, right? You studied and you practice. So what's better than that? So this is really important. This is not only important for GATE, this is important for almost all the competitive examinations. Like if, even if you're preparing for CAT or even if you're preparing for uh, any examination, whatever suggestion you have given, it's really important. 
yeah so and one thing i also want to add here if you are preparing for get, get then most of the subject will be common in your placement also like a uh, lots of students are just to just want to prepare for placement so for that also like uh, lots of company ask uh, computer fundamental dsa and these are the common topic that uh, that you will be asked in the get also so yeah you have yeah, said I, i think you have said Yeah. yeah and it's not it's not just it's just about uh, placements right if so you have been working for some time now i have been working for two years now we both know that uh, it's not just about dsa and everything right we our uh, computer science fundament fundamentals have to be strong for us to you know yes. perform well in our job and do work well and preparing for gate uh, gives you like so like a lot a lot of people we didn't focus they very much on their courses right but when they start preparing for gate so whether it's dbms or whether it's operating systems everything gets clear to them so yeah it it also helps there so it also helps me in doing my job correct sir. Right. like uh, whatever you have said like it's really like uh, really insightful because i myself worked for one year and uh, literally i find i found lots of place where i used uh, dbms concept uh, where i used uh, os concept like concept of os kind of thing networking is also very important so these are the subject that is uh, like uh, getting used in uh, real life for software development also so yeah of course if you will be prepared for get then you will be have a very clear and uh, clear uh, understanding of those topic and those subjects yeah so yeah. now i want to ask a very special question that as you have worked at microsoft and currently you are working at google so could you please share that how it feels like working at this top product based company like you are more much senior than me so i think you will yeah. be uh, this this answer will be very special for me also yeah so see i'll i won't talk about here the great food that we get at microsoft and google or the great offices or the cool goodies that we get because we, you all know about that right i'll tell you about the things that uh, that are that are, i mean not a lot of people discuss that's okay first of all the work the work is like really good really good so if you just focus on what you are working on what the project that you have been assigned to and if you just diligently work on that you are actually growing as a developer okay it's not like you have to you know run around and just do this true and that too you don't even have to do that you will grow naturally if you just focus on your work that is a very because these companies don't just work on their own thing they want you to grow too so that's a very good thing second thing which i have seen is people okay so you might expect that people working in microsoft and or google would be just like you know too much of a bookworm or something and they would just keep working and it's actually not true people are generally really fun okay and really smart so that actually gives you an insight on how people can be really cool and really smart manage their work well and then chill too so the perfect work life balance that i would say that's what you get here right because you see people working very hard and then enjoying their life very hard so people and you get you get to work with really smart people okay so sometimes when i sit with my colleagues and i talk to them i see how smart they are or how how good they were in their uh, you know academics and how well they were doing in various competitions so yeah it's 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 uh, i would say uh, one of the best thing about working with uh, working in companies like microsoft and google is people always yeah so this is like something like lots of my viewer are from tier 3 college so they just want to be like they wanted to be in the good environment but uh, unfortunately they didn't got uh, got get opportunity to work with a great like uh, i am not saying that uh, the environment of tier 3 is not uh, very good it's like it depend upon college to college but still uh, if you will work at a company like google and microsoft then in that case you will be get surrounded with really smart people something like a smart people that got to like pick from every any chain every good college kind of thing yeah so this is yeah. really uh, great like uh, working at company like google microsoft will give you a good uh, very productive and uh, very uh, like you can say uh, intelligent environment kind of thing yeah yeah, yeah. so
so uh, the last this is my last question which is very important question like uh, uh, lots of my viewers also preparing for get as well as placement preparation so could you please say that what are some tips and guidance you want to give them so that they can prepare in the right direction uh, like uh, some tips and guidance okay so like you yourself said it right whether it's any competitive exam or whether it's placement preparation now the most important thing is practice okay so i would say practice a lot second thing is consistency okay especially in gate preparation i see a lot of people start fail they do well then they see okay there's so much course or they are they are not able to solve questions or test papers and they give up they are like okay well maybe i won't be able to do it similar similar thing goes for the people who are preparing for placement right so consistency is important here if you are failing it's okay try hard try again right so keep trying keep uh, keep trying consistency is important and second practice practice as much as you can right and uh, for so we are living in a golden era right now okay because anything any resource you want to see, you know, uh, get right there's everything available on the internet whether it's for placement preparation or whether it's for gate preparation right use those resources judicially plan everything okay don't just do things haphazardly plan everything study and then practice well to make sure uh, to so that you can check that okay well i did us did us study properly i mean and can i solve the questions right and uh, yeah i mean and uh, one more thing which i see a lot of people uh, which i see in a lot of people they undervalue themselves they say that okay well you know what i can't get into a good company because i'm from this or that background or um, i can't crack it because i'm from this or that background honestly i have seen people who have done their bachelors in branches which are nowhere related to csc at all cracking gate okay with great rank and get also getting into good companies like microsoft and google i have i have my friends who work at microsoft and google and they were one at uh, one time from non csc background so don't consider that you can't do it you can obviously do it you just have to believe in yourself and work hard and practice so this is really a uh, very important advice and the last point that you have said that undervaluing lots of student do i i personally know my lots of friend they were very good at uh, like during the 12th they were very good but after that they start undervaluing themselves and uh, they start losing hope of getting placement and uh, in that way they even don't try to get uh, placed at any company yeah so uh, with this note i want to end this video but before ending this video i want to say that this channel is brought to you by newton school newton school ek bahut hi achhi platform hai jisme ki aapko uh, full stack development ki course di jayegi abhi uska new batch start hone wali hai jiski link aapko description mein mil jayegi so aap kya kar sakte ho description pe diye gaye link pe click karke newton school ke new batch ko join kar sakte ho so that's all about this video thank you so much and thank you harshit for accepting my invitation yeah, thank you